Welcome to email automation for your Shopify store. In this video, I'll be going over what email automation is, the different types of campaigns you can set up. And at the end of the video, I'll be going over how to set up email automation using Shopify's very own free automation application. So first off, what is email automation? It's essentially going to be a process that you set up one time and you can then edit, but it's going to create, schedule, and send personalized email campaigns based on customer behavior and interactions. So these are all going to be automated emails sent out. So once the customer completes a specific action, the email is going to go out without any extra effort on your end. This is going to save you a lot of time as a Shopify store owner. So overall, what are some examples? You can have automated welcome emails, abandoned cart reminders, order confirmations, product recommendations, and promotional offers. These are all going to help engage potential or existing customers to get them to come by from your store. So let's take a look at a few of those in detail. The first one's going to be abandoned cart automation emails. So these are going to be sent out to customers who have added items to their shopping cart but did not complete their purchase. They're going to remind the customer that they have items in their cart and they should come back and complete it. Often there's a scarcity element here such as while well, stock lasts so the end customer is encouraged to purchase soon. These are great ones to set up as they're going to really help increase the revenue for your store as many online shoppers will go and add items to their cart but then get distracted with something else and they need that push reminder to come back and finish their purchase. And yeah, common email automation is going to be a welcome series. So you may have gotten a potential customers to subscribe to your email newsletter. This could be by offering them a discount code or to sign up for later promotions. But the welcome emails is going to be the first communication sent out to new subscribers or customers, introducing them to your brand, setting expectations, and you're really just going to tell them what you're about and why the potential customer should purchase from you. These are often fun emails where a little bit of personality is added to help that email stand out and help connect with the person. These welcome series emails could be just a few emails or they could be a long chain of emails describing the brand, how it was started and why customers choose it. Win back emails are a popular automation as well. And the goal of these emails is to get existing customers to come back and purchase from you. They're often set around the 60, 120 day, 180 day mark. It's really going to depend on the type of products you're selling. They often include specialized offers to say, hey, you purchased from us before. How do you like the product? We think you'll like this new version instead. So here's a custom coupon code. You also have upsell emails. So after a customer is purchased, they're in a buying state. They've trusted your brand at this point enough to actually purchase something. And you can encourage them to purchase higher end products or add something to their original order. You could go higher end. You could also cross sell and sell related products they might need, such as let's say you sold a barbecue. You could sell them all the accessories, such as the tools, maybe a cleaner, maybe a barbecue cover that they might need for their recent purchase. There's tons of opportunity here, and it's just going to depend on what types of products you're selling. So there are a ton of different automations. I covered just a few of them in this video, but now let's cover how to set up these email automations. Feel free to use any app you would like. There are tons of different email automation apps available on the Shopify app store. But in this video, I'll be using Shopify's very own Shopify email. And this app has a very generous free plan where your first 10,000 emails each month are free. After that, pricing is going to be at $1 per 1,000 emails per month. So we can set up these automations here. So I already have this app installed, but if you don't already, you can just hit the install button here and finish the quick installation sequence. Once you're done that, you'll be brought to the dashboard here. And at the top, there is an option to create an automation. So I'll click that one here. And what's great is there are tons of different pre-built templates. They're going to help you set up these automations. So let's start with one of the most popular ones here. And this is the abandoned checkout one. So we can drive customers back to your store to complete their checkout. And so if we click on the template here, we can see the default flow. So when a customer starts their checkout, if they abandon it and their total price of the checkout is more than $0, then wait 10 hours and then I'm going to send an email. So let's turn on this automation here. And so it says once you turn it on, the new automation will replace your existing checkout email and settings. So this is going to be the default one that your Shopify store sends out. And I'm okay with that here. So I'll hit continue as I will be editing this email as well. I received an error there and that's because I'm on a development store plan. So I need to actually be on a paying plan to use this application. But let's go and just quickly edit this flow so we can see exactly what it looks like here. So let's zoom out to make this easier to see. But after we wait 10 hours, if the customer hasn't placed an order, then we can check if one or more products in the checkout are available in stock. Then we can send this marketing email. 
And if I click on this item in the flow, it makes it super easy to click on the edit email so I can edit the text here to match my brand exactly. I'd probably add up the logo here. If that's not automatically imported, I can change the subject line and I can change the styling of each of the sections here. And I'll do another video in depth on how to customize Shopify flow easily. But by default, if you just go enable these flows here, it makes it super easy to set up. And they have tons of pre-built templates here. And as mentioned, up to the first 10,000 emails, it is completely free. If you've made any sales on Shopify, you know how hard it is to keep track of how much money your store has actually made. There's your cost of goods sold, transaction fees, ad spend, VAT, and much more that you need to keep track of. And that's where our sponsor Profit Cal comes in the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. All you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real-time calculations on all your different important metrics so you can truly understand your store's profitability. It's gonna sync seamlessly with all your different ad accounts from Facebook, Snapchat, Bing, Pinterest, Google, and TikTok. And it's gonna allow you to make smarter business decisions as you're gonna have true insight into your store's performance. There's a 15 day free trial so you can test drive everything for yourself. It's available on the Shopify app store and there's a link in the description below to access the app listing directly. You can also search for it in the Shopify app store by searching profit calc and then looking for this logo in the top left here. As mentioned, there's a 15 day free trial so make sure you check it out for yourself. So this is gonna conclude the video here on email automation for your Shopify store. We went over the different types of automations you can set up and how to easily turn those on in Shopify's email app. If you enjoyed this video, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below if you have any questions, leave a comment, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.